These are the ranks. It's like diamond. Hey guys, I'm um, Shark back playing and showing you how to play Leona like a pro in season 12 among very much so strong engage supports ever since the buff she's gotten like a patch ago. So like usual guys, if you enjoy fun helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took after shock, front of life, bone plating, overgrowth, biscuits, cosmic. Those are the rune stats there. And in this lane, we're playing against Sivir Sona, pretty medium difficulty matchup. Yeah. Oh, the sound wasn't on. It's gonna come down to just they're heavy on like the heal and poke. We're heavy on the engage and dive. That's like where our strengths come from. So we just kind of have to outplay Sona and then try to get engages off at level two. And then Sivir has her spell shield. So it is very likely we can't do anything to her. And we just have to focus the Sona. See, I'm just hitting the wave, trying to hit level two. As soon as we hit level two, I'm flashing. See if they step up. Yeah. In this lane, I could have taken uh I could have taken Glacial. In fact, you know. Not thinking about it probably isn't bad. Because against That's just not gonna do anything. That is not gonna cut it. Against range, Glacial is good because it slows them down for your carries to actually get on top of them. But Aftershock is good against those melees where you can proc it and not take as much damage. But is what it is. First blood on the Fiora. Can't really do much here. Auto attack. W or yeah, W then queued. And I think with the last auto attack, yep, should be enough. Like I said. That's auto attack Q for the stun and the last shot. They're trying to bait it in with the Kha'Zix. And now Talon's here. Oh, that's a pain. That's actually a pain. We're going to get the Kha'Zix too. Nice start. The wave is probably pushing towards them, sadly, though. This game... As for boots, no lie, I think this is a Moby's angle. This is a Moby's angle. Reason being is after a while, I have a really good feeling. I'll just start roaming towards wherever the talent is most of the times, and I won't play towards bot lane as heavily. But you know, we'll see. We have red buffs, so potions isn't really needed as much. Oh. There's the spell shield. Did she just use her level 6 mastery? Alright, Buster. Auto attack. Yep, there's the flash. Alright, Buster. You always want to auto attack and then Q for the for the reset. Q is an auto reset. Nah, it's not good. Oh, I hate where the wave is. I really do. I hate where the wave is bought. It's like, how am I supposed to engage on this? It does leave me room to roam. So that's like the good part. The good part about this. 
Nice. Das eigene Nevia. Der Nevia ist squishy. Support MVP Gaming. Playing as the second jungler. That's what we do. And we gotta crash this wave before the Anivia comes, which we do. And then the Jin's soaking on solo XP, so it's not even like he's behind. As long as he doesn't die. But it's it's like Sivir Sona. They don't do anything. Gonna go boom boom boom. Probably look for the Ever Shroud this game. Mark Cording. I am nice. Yeah, and the ever ever shroud versus locket debate. It really is 50-50, depending on what you want to do within that game. Jin is recalling, so I gotta look for the roam. Gotta love the Mobis. We can sweep through everything. And I have flash, so. Why did you ward there? There I drag. Jin recalled, so there's literally nothing for me to do bot, and it's better I roam. Oh, Anivia's top. I see. That is so odd. Right here, right here. Oh, my. But he had to use the R, so, I mean, that's like a small W. Yes! Got the cannon. All right, sweet. Honestly, I'll even show myself going bot. Oh, if I stayed mid, I might have even been able to get a kill on Kha'Zix. But at this point... Got to focus the Sona. No! That's sickening. But Jin is full HP. Make me proud. Exactly. Where? <laughs> Let's go. We're actually just Leona gaming. Good shit. Uh, I don't know where Kha'Zix is, so I'll just recall. I don't want to die. I don't have shutdown or anything, but I want to keep this perfect KDA. And I always rush the Kindle Gem over this. HP means a lot early. And then you get CDR on top of it, which is huge. And honestly, I'm thinking about it. Like, I really did. I'm, I forgot to change the runes I had from my previous game. Glacier would have been the better move with that page due to like the whole mechanics of it and the fact that you can take uh, Hex Flash. You can take a lot of better things than just bone plating and overgrowth. See if I can look for it mid. Oh, nah. Yeah, it's doomed. I can get deep wards though. Jin should be able to farm safely. No, he cannot. I griefed it. Sorry, Jin. He has shut down. Man, I hate this. Hate this. Talon, Talon's literally playing a farm simulator. When he has a... He has a...
Oh, he's playing towards top. All right, I see. He has a uh, engage support that's willing to play Mobis and just roam with them all game. Now they know I'm here, but uh, I don't really care. Ooh, but she wants the emote. She really wants the emote. Get the last auto in. It, you really want an emote. <laughs> ah, League is fun. All right, so Talon's playing top lane, kind of leaving bot alone. But since we can 2v2 quite easily, it's not the worst thing in the world. It really isn't, but kind of sad. <laughs> Talon's down a level, really. It's all good, though. Got to play towards this drag. Oh, uh, yeah. Nivea's dead. We just got to shove in mid. And then go through drag. To bot lane. And then on the way we place wards. Looks free again. Talon. Oh, I missed? It's a damn shame. We just flash E. And then we're gonna melee Q the Sivir. At least gets her spell shield down. And Sivir still dies, yep. Yeah. That's literally how to play Engage Sports 101. It's just you're a second jungler of the jungler. That's like the best analogy. Too many times people just stay bot all game. Whether your ADC is ahead or behind, typically. Oh, we, we can get the Cynivia real quick. Yikes. Can I get an assist? I didn't. But ADCs need three items before they're like super strong in the game. Jin's kind of the exception along with like uh, Draven. But like a, a Sivir, Tristana, Jinx, they need three items. So as long as they're farming bots, most of the times you could just follow the jungler or look to roam mid. Either or. And it gives a bigger lead. I'm about to do a loop around. Nah. I need my relic. Something I need. <laughs> I need my relic. Need to upgrade my support item. And I have a feeling Sivir's trying to bait us with the taunt and Kha'Zix is hovering. So I need to wait for Talon. I knew it. I knew it. Because this, this fucking Talon jungle, man. He's like allergic to bot lane the whole game. Why though? It's for a 4-4 four and four Aatrox. That is even. They're even top. It's just insane. He might, yeah, he probably auto filled. It's a shame. Wait, yeah, let's see what we can do mid. 
Mm, please. I have Mobis. We're chasing it. Oh, he hopped over the wall with his invis. This is just ridiculous. It's not even rocket science. It's you just play around your lanes that get ahead. How hard is it? Boom, increase your win rate by 4% just by doing that. But you know how it goes. It's not an autofill talent. I just checked. It's a talon main. Talon jungle main. Got the stun there. Can I get an R onto Anivia? You know what? Yeah. That is all I can do. Hope it's enough. It is not. Jin should be able to pop off though. He has or he had two levels on the on the Sivir. Nice. Now we can build into Zeke's. Because our synergy with the Jin is pretty strong. Oh. Aw, oh, Seraphine came close. In all reality, we group for drag. We should win it. Without a doubt. And then we're gonna ult the Sona. And then that's just like the pro of en engagers over enchanters. So we're set up at an objective before it spawns. Anyone who walks. Within the objective, they basically step at choke points. Oh, Fjord took blue. Not cool. Then here we are. That's actually a really nice pick. At this point, it should literally be pick into Baron. Pick into Baron. Come on, team. Right, I guess we'll be after everyone recalls. Let's get it. Quick pick on the Sivir. Kha'Zix is bot. You already know what it's time to do. Wish I had Hex Flush with my Glacial Page. That way I could take the Blast Cone.
Huge. No objectives are up, so I will, uh... Buy a Ruby Crystal over Vision Ward. That's so free. What? What? No way. No, you're not. Nah, 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 that's just too free. That's too free. That's too free. Gotta punish the mispositions like that. And it mainly becomes, comes from the fact that we're so far ahead. Even though we were outmatched 2v3, we still won. And they're all down, so that should be mid inhib, and then... Let's say we group bot, and the one more team fight should be the game. I don't think we can take it. It's all good though. Just chill for a minute, gotta get my Zeeks. That is unfortunate. It's unfortunate that uh, Jin didn't have Gale Force there because he probably would have lived. But it is okay. Pushing this wave. You know what? Seraphine gets Zeke's for now. We gotta take this inhib. As soon as we take this inhib, we can actually push through top or bot to end the game. And then now we go. Botling. I guess they're going to fight mid. My only issue with that is even if we ace them, there's no objectives mid, so nothing really comes of it, but you know what? They want to fight it. They want to fight it. Slow. In oh, I didn't. I didn't land my E. But hey, we still get him. And just like that, I think that should be the game. I thought I should walk in. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. It's how to play Luna like a pro.